Hey, just before we get to the actual video, I want to say this particular method does take a very long time to initially set up. For example, it took me overnight and I did not wind up syncing my WTF folder, but this is a really great way to back up your interface folder. Just be aware that the initial setup can take a long time depending on your upload speed. Anyways, let's get to the video. Hi, and welcome to my video on how to back up your WoW interface to the cloud. I am going to show specifically how to use Google Drive. So one of the first things we're going to do is go ahead and create a brand new account. All right, let's just go ahead and fill this out. Now that we've made our account, let's go ahead and go to Google Drive. So we're going to go ahead and download the Google Drive backup and sync for Windows. So we're going to go ahead and click on this gear icon here and click on get backup and sync for Windows. And scroll down and download the four individuals use and click agree and download and go ahead and save that file. And once it's downloaded, you go ahead, open folder, and run. And it says here, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Go ahead and click yes. And it will go ahead and install, say installation complete. So now what you want to do is you see this welcome to backup and sync, click get started. And we're going to sign in with our brand new Google account. Go ahead and click next. So it's going to ask you what folders you want to continuously back up to Google Drive. So click got it. Unclick the computer because we only want to back up our WoW Drive. And then choose folder. And go ahead and select your location where World of Warcraft is installed. And then click on retail and interface. As you can see, I make periodic copies and backups here. And I kind of just want to back it up now. So we'll go ahead and select interface. And it should calculate the size now. If you also want to back up your WTF folder, you can go ahead and click it there. They're not that big, so you probably have enough space to do that. So we can go ahead and say original quality, because that's not going to hit our quota, and click next. And then so we will sync files from my drive to a folder, click got it. You can go ahead and select sync only these folders, and then unselect select all and then go ahead and click start. So now what you're going to see is the Google Drive folder pop up and you're going to need to give it a little bit as it says backup and sync is setting up and just let it run for a little bit. It'll take a while but it will get there. And you can check on it by looking at this cloud icon in the background. As you can see it takes a little bit for the first time but after you have this going it won't take very long. <laughs> So it's the next day. That took a couple of hours to do. Um, I think it took about 10 to initially sync everything for me, but I also have really bad upload speed. There was quite a bit of information. Some of it, as you can see from here, are old backups from everything, which can probably be safely deleted. But another thing you should know, this is a two-way sync. So if you were to make a folder on the internet, it would show up in the interface folder. So. As you can see, we can do this. You can go ahead, create a new folder, just so it's easy to find. We'll call it a hello world. That's all we need to do. There we see a hello world. We see that it has synced just now. And you can see here that it's been brought on. You might be wondering what the point of all of this is. Well, in addition to being a backup, Google Drive also does versioning, and this makes it really easy to retrieve previous versions in case something becomes corrupted. So how this works a lot of the time is when you update your add-ons or you exit World of Warcraft, it's going to create a bunch of updates. So let's go ahead and show that by exiting World of Warcraft on this alt. Go ahead and click exit. And as you can see, this is syncing all the files that have updated. And you want to make sure that you're not turning off your computer before it has a chance to complete the sync. 
So there you go. This is one way you can make backups to the cloud using Google Drive. You can also do this with Dropbox. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if this was useful to you. Have a great day.